Hey everyone, it's Arrow Dragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X3. In the last episode, we took down Tunnel Rhino and Neon Tiger. And in this episode, we're going to start off by going after my pick for fourth Maverick, Blast Hornet. And my god, I actually had a failed take of this episode where I had everything recorded beautifully except my commentary. And I want to do live commentary, so that's why I have to redo this. My god. But anyway, let's roll. Now, Blast Hornet... Okay, I want to say something. Remember how I said that the re-release of this game had altered music? Blast Hornet's arranged theme sounds so good. I mean, this sounds decent, but Blast Hornet's arranged theme is just amazing. Also, Charge Race Flasher? Not the most useful thing in the world. I just wanted to show it off. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Wow! From showing something off to actually showing off. Okay. Yeah, Ray Smash is gonna get a lot of use in this area. Okay, so he needs something else to talk about. Okay, with my next LP after this one, I already have a. Excuse me. I already have it planned out, and it was actually suggested to me by my brother. Alright, now let's. I'll talk about that in a minute after I take down this really cool yet really, really easy mini boss. It's just I say it's easy too. Yeah, just keep shooting it. This thing's hardly a challenge. Ow. And. And it's dead. So that's one thing out of the way. Oh, help. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, the LP was actually suggested to me by my brother, and I just had to jump on it. And speaking of my brother, I'm planning something special. But that'll have to wait. And also, in regards to the collab I'm doing with the Golden Wolf, as you know, I'm scripting the second part, and he's gonna be editing it, so it's gonna turn out quite different. That shooting is not going to work, I need Tornado thing. <coughs> it's going to turn out quite different than the first part because he edits differently than I do. I mean, everyone has their own style of editing, right? And now... Let me actually think. Now, we get the ride armor. And in this game, there are actually four different ride armors you can use. There's the Chimera armor, which is this, it's standard. The Kangaroo armor, which is basically the ride armor for X2 with the spike fist, except it can't hover. There's the Hawk Armor, which can actually hover and shoot missiles. And there's the Frog Armor, which sucks on land, but it's fantastic in the water. Alright, now we're moving on to yet another mini-boss. Which isn't much of a mini-boss, to be honest. Here's what's gonna happen. These enemies are gonna bring crates down, and you have to destroy them. And that's pretty much it. On the bright side, this is a great place to farm for health. Especially since you have the Rhino. Well, I hope you have So anyway, on to updates. After I do my top top 10 Smash 4 combatants, I don't know what my next list is going to be. I mean, I'm tossing around ideas. I think I'm doing maybe top 15 worst Mavericks since I love the X series so much. And I've actually played all the games in the X series. I have friends at school that helped me with trying to play X4 through 8. Oh my gosh. And I had and I played through X7 just to say I played it. And to those of you who stay up to date with, with people like the Quarter Guy, you know how bad X7 is. Oh, dear lord. Okay, and there's the Heart Tank. That's actually pretty easy to miss. Okay, and my failed recording bit actually showed up here. He's gonna show up here this time. That's a yes. Welcome, X. I'm Bit. I have my orders. You are to be destroyed. Hey, your orders were to take me alive, not destroy me! Okay, I should be using Frost Shield. Okay, now Bit is a bit... <laughs> Bit's a bit... He's actually a bit easy. If you notice, with, with his dashing attack, he'll always do it when he's at the same height as you. So just jump, and you avoid him very easily. 
This is literally the whole battle. And if you get caught in one of these, just spaz for a bit and you'll be fine. And... He's dead. This Reploid special abilities are too. No! It can't be! Gah! If there were voice acting in this game, that would so be how it'd sound. Hey, it'd be better than X7. Okay. Moving on. So, as I was mentioning before, I am planning something special besides my second LP. And I think my fans are going to love it. Speaking of my fans, I really have to thank Golden Wolf. I mean, ever since the collab started, I've been getting subscribers and more subscribers. And because I have the number of subscribers I do, I'm ready to start something. But I'll wait for the right time to announce it. Okay. You know, I've always wondered where this exact where exactly this stage is. I mean, it's always kind of struck me as kind of a radio tower, but I really don't know. Okay, in my failed recording, I was going in at full health, and I came around on the by the skin of my teeth. With this amount of health and barely anything in a sub tank, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, because I had failed recording, I had to use the password to get back to where I was. So that's why I'm a bit. That's why my sub tanks were empty. So yeah, he'll dive at you, and then he'll shoot mechanical bees. Well, for the first half of the fight. Once he gets below half health, his strategy will change, but we'll get but still. The best strategy is just keep to the opposite side of the room that he's on. This will give you a chance to shoot the bees rather easily, and also avoid his dive bomb. Okay, shoot! Ah. If a bee gets on you, just, just shoot a charge shot and it'll get off you. Oh, and I died! I wonder if Mega Man X is allergic to bees. I really don't know. Oh, oh, and here's where his strategy changes. When he gets to half health, he'll float around in, in a figure 8 pattern and shoot this reticle down. And you want that- you actually want that reticle to hit you as soon as it comes out. The, the longer it's out, the more bees he gets to spawn. And if he spawns four of them, God help you. Ah, I died again! I'm usually better at this fight! Okay... So, let's try it once more. Okay... Okay... Let's do it. Okay... This time, I have to do it. Failure is not an option, not like it ever is. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Shoot! Yeah, like that. <laughs> I was- I'm so tempted to make a Futurama joke, but no- I'm sure no one would get it. Okay, so yeah, there's not much for me to talk about at this point. Um... Okay, this is where strategy changes. Oh, jeez, four of them! Don't panic, don't panic! Hey, shoot! Ow. Oh my god, that was close! I honestly thought I was a dead man, I'd have to stop the recording and try again. But no, I managed to persevere, and I won. Mm -mm. Dadum! Yeah, you! Unfortunately, Blast Hornet gives you easily the weakest weapon in X3. Not to say it's bad, but it's not what it could have been. It's the Parasitic Bomb, and its effects vary depending on the size of the enemy you shoot it at. If it's a large enemy, it'll just explode. If it's a medium-sized enemy, it'll latch onto it, disabling the enemy, then explode. And if it's a small enemy, it'll latch onto it, bring it to another enemy, and then explode, taking them both out. So it's 
somewhat useful. It's really useful when charged because it gives you an army of homing bees. Okay, and I think I'm going to go after Gravity Beetle next. And let me tell you, Gravity Beetle is one of my favorites. I mean, he just looks so cool, his stage is awesome, and he has easily my favorite fight in the game, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay... Also, his theme, it rocks. I mean, I, this is one theme I preferred on the SNES. It just sounds so awesome. And I've heard so many remixes of it, you can't go wrong with it. Like, check out my like videos, and you'll see a couple, you'll see a remix of it that's just so amazing. And interesting note, beating Blast Hornet actually has an effect on these enemies. If you notice, these enemies were red and... Ugh. You have to... Ugh, you have to die. These enemies were red in, in Blast Hornet stage, and now they're green. And also, those areas be filled with crates, and you wouldn't be able to get that heart tank. So yeah, defeating Blast Hornet weakens these enemies, and also lets you get that heart tank. So that's why I recommend going to Blast Hornet early, besides getting the Rhino. Okay, is Bite showing up? No, he's not. I guess he's waiting for the right moment. Okay, now up here is a ride armor that's a bit tricky to get to. You have to jump, air dash up, and then you're there. That's the frog armor. It's my least favorite of them, but not to say it's bad. In water, it's great. On land, it's awful. Okay, so anyway... Um... Let's see, what is there to talk about? I guess I could talk about some of my plans I have for the summer, besides the review and the and the collab, and the list that we're voted for. So, after my review of Super Mario 3D World, I'm hoping I can maybe do a review of the Warner for 101. I'm hoping I have time for it. And there's an extra life. I guess that makes up for dying twice against Last of Hornet. A lot of energy here. And you can just screw the elevator all together and make it out of this section. Now... Up here is actually something that's pretty neat. It's a ride armor platform. There's one of these in every stage. So yeah, you could, in addition to there being four different ride armors, you can use ride armors in any stage as soon as you find one of these pads. But since we're on land, I might as well go with this. And also, those falling bullet floors, they remind me so much of Mega Man 6 for whatever reason. I don't know. Okay, now getting the ride armor, ride armor up here is a bit tricky. But it's worth it. And it sounds like my sub tank just got filled. Yep, it did. So now I have one full sub tank. Okay, so if you're skilled enough to get a ride armor up here, you're rewarded handsomely. Destroy these crates, and you can jump up here, and there's a pink capsule. There are four of these in the game, and each of them contains an enhancement chip. There's one for the head, one for the body, one for the buster, and one for the legs. The head chip restores your HP while you stand still, including sub tank energy. The body chip chip further reduces damage in conjunction with the body armor, the buster chip gives you a separate wep weapons gauge that lets you fire continuous charge shots, and the leg chip lets you double air dash. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? However, it's restricted. You're only allowed one chip, and, and I'm actually not going for any of them, but we'll see why later in the game. Okay, Gravity Beetle. Now, like I said, this is my favorite fight in the game. It's so simple, yet it can become very hectic. His main, main attack is shooting these balls of energy, I don't know what they are, that do a lot more damage the bigger they get. He can shoot one or two of them, and like I said, they do a lot of damage when they get big. And they can get tough to avoid. And you know what, I'm not risking it, I'm gonna use a sub tank. Good thing I didn't risk it. Oh, wait, wait, oh, really good thing I didn't risk it. And at half health, he summons his gravity well. This alters the gravity of the room, and also hurts you if you touch it, so it cha seriously changes the dynamic of this fight. Unfortunately, it also kind of forces them to use the same old song and dance. But it's still a fun fight. I just grabbed, and I really like Gravity Beetle, but I wish he did more of the gravity theme. As you know from Quarter Guy, Gravity Antonian from X8 did so much better, my god! Antonian's stage was pure genius, as was his fight. But... That's for another time. Gravity Beetle's down, and that's that.
Yeah, yo. And by defeating Gravity Beetle, we are rewarded with the Gravity Well, and it's easily the strangest weapon of the bunch. Now watch, it shoots a Gravity Well, which destroys smaller enemies, and can also destroy some projectiles, and when charged, it's a lot more powerful, but it's not the most practical thing in the world. Not to say it's useless, but it's not one of my favorites. Okay, we're at 16 minutes now. Um, I actually think I will do one more stage. Mostly because I know I'll have to edit out one of my failed takes of Blast Hornet because I lost twice to him, but oh well, after the cookie crumbles, I guess. Let's play Curse. Let's go fight Bull Catfish. Now, Bull Catfish, I find, is one of the most underrated Mavericks in the series. Kind of like how I find Solar Man really underrated. He's not one of my favorites, but. Ugh. I still really like him. Like, I, I will appreciate him when others don't. Okay, now down here, this elevator will take you down, but I don't want to take it right now. There's a specific reason for it, and we'll get into that later. So, going up and up and up and up, and there's another one of these guys. Guarding a health pickup, which I want. I guess it's time to show off Parasitic... Parasitic Bomb. See? Latches onto it, disables it, and then it blows up. And when it's disabled, you can walk right through very easily. Like I said, not a bad weapon, but not one of my favorites. Okay, let's try the Ray Splash. And that actually reminds me of something. It, to those of you who know about the game Mega Man Maverick Hunter X for the PSP, they were actually going to continue with that, like Maverick Hunter X2, Maverick Hunter X3, and I gotta say, I would love to see what this game would look like in the style of Maverick Hunter X. I think that'd be awesome. Like, I can imagine the personalities for some of the Mavericks. Like, I can imagine Blizzard Buffalo being cool and collected. By the way, hard tank up here, but it's really tricky to get to without dying. You have to air dash, and then when you grab it, you have to jump and air dash again. Don't think it's possible to get without the air dash. You can, someone can try and prove me wrong. As I was saying, I can imagine Blizzard Buffalo being cool and collected, and I can imagine imagine well catfish being a wise guy hey I can I can drink can I okay now you okay now you want to ride the elevator or you can just jump up here instead of riding the elevator now you want to charge your gravity well watch what happens it lifts this thing up and it brings you to a dr. light capsule sweet enter this capsule X Take this armor upgrade. The upgrade will decrease the damage done to your systems. As you receive damage, a defense field will be generated to protect you. Yeah, this... As per usual, this thing has any damage you take, but also when you take a hit, it'll generate a defense field for about 5 seconds, with fur which further reduces damage dealt. See, there's the defense field right now. For a demonstration. Really, really cool. I'm just a bit upset that on like X2 you don't get a Giga Attack. I mean, the Giga Attack being a screen nuke. You know something? As bad as X7 was, they at least made the Giga Attack useful because it can hit a boss no matter what. Ugh. And Bite didn't show up again. Oh well. Okay, now in this room, besides looking really cool, it's actually a really, really well hidden secret. So you go up here, and there's a ride armor platform. So, I choose the Chimera armor. And there it is. Now, you bring it over here, drop it to the floor, and it gets destroyed. That actually surprised me my first time. Like, I would not have expected that. But, over here, a sub tank and energy to boot. And that's all four sub tanks. Pretty neat. And he respawned. But I have the armor upgrade, so I laugh at that. Ha ha ha! And Ray Splash, because it's awesome. Yeah, I like all your Ray Splash, one Ray Splash, sure. A world like that. And Gravity Well! It did nothing. Frost Shield! It did something. Like that. Sadly, Frost Shield has a limitation. You can only have two of those crystals on the ground at once. And like I said, you can't switch weapons while it's out. Well, one of those crystals is out anyway. 
Hardly a deal breaker though, it's very powerful, one shots most enemies, so I'm not complaining. Okay. Also, interesting note about Bull Catfish. Like I said, there are anime intros in the re release of this game. Otto actually makes a cameo, and I always thought that was a pretty neat Easter egg. Does it suggest that Otto is actually alive in this time, or. I don't know. But enough, but enough of that, let's just go fight the catfish. Now, Bull Catfish, I'd have to say, as much as I find him underrated, He's easily the most annoying Maverick of the bunch. Not hard, just annoying. Blast Horn's definitely harder, but this guy's more of a pain. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, so he'll jump, and then he'll shoot a spark. Doesn't seem so bad, does it? Until he does that! Yeah, that's the part of this that makes, that makes it a pain. When he does that, it's a very difficult attack to avoid. And... Ah! case of point, and makes you thankful the armor upgrade is in his stage. Ugh. And here comes Desperation. He'll shoot out sparks completely randomly. Like, I don't know how to avoid this attack. And then he'll try and charge at you. Interesting note, in my failed take, I had to use a sub tank because he willed me down, he whittled me down so much. And I managed to press up here, dang it. Okay, yeah. The smite is annoying just because it's really difficult to avoid taking a hit unless you're using his weakness. With his weakness, he's a joke. Like any Maverick. But you know something? If you're good enough with his weakness, you won't even give him a chance to make a move. And I can still never ask Spike without taking a hit. Sterile. Come on, I can win this. Bring a charge shot to, for the for the coup de gras. Dead. Whew, man. He's not hard. He's a pain. Kind of like the mini boss in Tunnel Rhino stage. But nevertheless, you beat him. He's dead. Hoorah. Do 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 do. Da dum. Yeah you. Fortunately though, as much of a pain as he is. Beating him is very worth it, because you get yourself my favorite weapon in the game, the Triad Thunder. Now check this out. The Triad Thunder produces a split-second electric barrier, but it's a fantastic defensive and offensive utility. Very powerful, I'd say it's about as powerful as Frost Shield, and charge, it just destroys everything, literally. And with that, I think I'm going to end it off here. So, next time on Mega Man X3, we're going to go after the last two Mavericks and probably go after the goodies I didn't grab. See you guys next time.